I want to show you how to remove the background from an image using Adobe Photoshop. I'm using Adobe Photoshop 2020, which is part of the Creative Cloud's latest update. But any version of Photoshop, you can basically follow this tutorial and get great results. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is find ourselves an image with something that we can take out of. Maybe it's a picture of you standing in the middle of a street. Maybe it's a picture of your cat or dog in the living room and you maybe want to take them outside. So anything that you want to remove an item from, we're going to want to find first. The more contrasting your background and foreground are, as in the background that we want to remove and the item that we want to keep, so the more contrasting that they are, the easier this is going to be because the tools on Photoshop kind of use color and shape as their base to separate things. So as you can see, if I were to go up here and use my magic wand tool, it's going to be hard for me to select the background to delete because all of these colors are so small and they're indefinite sort of patches and this is going to take a million years. So we're going to come up here to our lasso tool, click down on it to bring up this side menu and we're going to select magnetic lasso tool. So once we've selected that, you'll see next to it here that there's a little magnet on top of my lasso. That means that's what I've selected. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. On the keyboard, you can do option plus or you can just pinch with your fingers on the trackpad. And we're going to start over here in the corner and we're going to just select the area that I want to start in. Now you can see as I move very slowly along the outside, it's choosing places to kind of lock onto. Now you can see I've missed a little bit of her bracelet there. So to delete a dot, I'm going to press delete and you can see we can backtrack a little. To give it a hand, I'm going to click and sort of tell it that I want to go around this color. So you can do that to give it a hand. And then once it's back on her arm color, it's going to be a lot easier to kind of go around. So as I'm doing this, I'm not being too careful how it snaps on. I'm definitely wanting to make sure that it clicks in on the important corners, like this ice cream. And then it goes up and over around this. You can see it's having trouble with the shadow parts, so no problem, I'm just gonna hit delete on my key. Click in to give it a hand every now and then. And you'll see that it pretty intuitively finds the edge of your images here. I don't have to do too much work over this stuff that's very differently shaded. And you can see that the background is blurry, but the foreground is clear. So Photoshop usually have a pretty good intuition when it comes to choosing those kind of things. So as I'm scrolling there, I'm hitting a little too far out so I can just delete that and keep going. Not too worried about her arm over here because that will not be the focus of my image. Great, I'm going to kind of stay as close to this edge as I can on my way up. And when I reach the first dot I made, you'll see a little circle show up on the side of this magnet lasso tool. Once I've seen that circle, it means it's going to close up the whole area and I'm going to click. And you'll see the wiggly line has gone around our hand holding this ice cream. Now I've missed a few areas in here where I haven't been able to touch. This area is actually something I want to take out of my selection. So I'm going to hold the option key and you'll see that little minus sign on the edge of it. I'm going to start a brand new lasso, close her up and you'll see that that has gone highlighted. Press the option button again, get rid of this part as well, close her up. And you'll see that now that is much better. 
Uh, you don't have to worry about areas being too neat. Photoshop definitely smooth things out for you. So what I'm going to do is press Command, Shift and I to select the inverse of what I just selected. So right now, everything except her arm and the ice cream is selected because I want to delete it. I want to get rid of my background. So I'm going to click the lock over here and unlock this layer. And then I'm going to hit the delete key. Now I'm going to press Command D to deselect so that that wobbly line goes away. And here you have our selected ice cream. We can zoom in a little bit and clean up some of these edges. We can round this out a little bit with our eraser tool just to smooth it out slightly. Anything that seems a little jagged or a little bit sharp, you can come in and touch up with your eraser tool. Great, now we're going to make a new layer by pressing Command Shift N. I'm going to name it Color, select OK, drag it underneath. I'm going to use my eyedrop tool and select a soft pink from the ice cream here. That looks good to me. Get our paint bucket tool and color this background in pink. You can do whatever you want to the background of this. Have a lot of fun. You can move around our hand. It is by itself. You can make some really cool Instagram posts by putting this wherever you want. And that's how you remove the background of an image using the lasso tool on Photoshop.